What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2013 movie, The Wolverine. So, uh, this is the sixth installment in the X-Men franchise, and, uh, follows Wolverine as he goes to visit an old acquaintance in Japan, and, uh, it's in a struggle that, that has lasting consequences, and Wolverine gets, uh, stripped of his healing powers and must battle these deadly samurai while also dealing with the guilt he has from uh, having to kill Jean Grey at the end of X-Men The Last Stand. Um, this movie is one that I've all kind of been mixed on throughout the years. When I first saw it, I didn't really care for it. This, uh, but over time, as I've rewatched it, every time I rewatch it, I like it a little bit more. Um, but it, it, it's a, a decent movie. Uh, Hugh Jackman is once again excellent as Wolverine. I think he's great. I uh, like a lot of the side characters, especially Yukio, I think is her name. She's really likable. Um, but I think all of the, the supporting characters are fine and stuff in their roles. And I like the story arc and stuff. And the villain is it, he's a pretty good villain. Um, not, the, not the best and everything, but he, he gets the job done for this movie. Um, and they kind of had a little twist with him, which was kind of cool. I, I remember when I saw it the first time, I was really shocked by it. Um, but I, I like the story, though. Um, especially, like, the first act of the movie is really good. The second act has a lot of good action for the first part of the second act, and then it kind of slows down for a little while, and then the third act picks back up, and it, it never really fully delivers on the... the awesomeness of the third act it could have been a lot better like like I think it could have been a better movie but for what it is I think Lo uh, this one was a pretty good one and I almost said Logan when I meant to say the Wolverine um, when I think of Wolverine movies I always think of Logan uh, but I think this was a pretty pretty uh, enjoyable movie and everything and the action scenes are a lot of fun especially the the scene on the train I love that that scene it's one of my favorite train scenes in a superhero movie is uh, to me it ranks up there with like uh the scene in spider-man 2 and uh even that that little train scene in ant-man there's just something about superheroes fighting on trains it's a lot of fun to watch um and everything and this one definitely has one of the better ones but there's also the scene at the funeral which was pretty good and that one happened not too long before the the train one which if I did have a little bit of a complaint is I feel like they put those scenes too close together I kind of wish we would have had like split them up a little bit so the action would have been spread out a little bit to make even out the story a little bit better if that makes sense because um, it's like when, when after that they kind of slow down for a while and we don't really get a lot of action till closer towards the third act it slows down for a good 20 or 25 minutes or so and it, it kind of drags the movie a little bit um, and everything like like that's my my biggest problem with this movie and why I don't rewatch it as often is it is a lot slower paced and everything but at the same time I also kind of like it I like the the struggle Wolverine's having in this movie and stuff without with him losing his healing powers and stuff which is done even better in Logan um, but I think this I had forgotten like how much stuff he went through I think a lot of that tri uh, attributed to why he was losing his powers in Logan too I think that was kind of kind of a cool little thing that they did there and everything like like this movie kind of foreshadows it and stuff I know a lot of people have mentioned how like Yukio's vision of him dying and stuff kind of represented what Logan was somewhat like in a way in his death in that movie which I'll talk more about that movie when I get to it but um I absolutely love The Wolverine. I think it's a really fun movie. I wouldn't say it's a super, super great movie, but it is a really fun movie, and I, I, I really enjoy watching it, especially, and I love, like, the beginning scene, like, the scene uh, when he saves his friend at the beginning of it, uh, He's and he gets burnt to a crisp and stuff because of the bomb and stuff. I, I love that scene, and also love, like, the, the scene when he goes in after the guy who had stabbed the bear 
or shot the bear with the arrow and stuff and he stabs him in the hand I love that scene too and uh, his whole look with that, that beard and the long hair and stuff he, he just looks really awesome for some reason that look on Wolverine just looks great and everything and maybe it's also because it's something different for him but I love the beard and the long hair look and I think he looks awesome uh, but I think this is a pretty good movie I love like how they deal with him uh, struggling with with living and stuff after having to kill Jean Grey and stuff like the struggles that puts him through I love that too like like it he humanizes Wolverine a lot which he, he always kind of has that humanized side to him anyway but this one really kind of kind of ups it a little bit and I love that about it it's one of the things I love about the Wolverine character is how uh, even though he's awesome and kicks a lot of butt and stuff he, he's still uh, he still has his issues and stuff and everything and he's still only human and everything I love that about him and everything and I also love the um, the post credit scene with uh, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen's versions of Professor and X, X and Magneto I remember the first time I saw this movie I was like holy crap I can't wait for Days of Future Past, which I'll talk about that movie next week. Um, but this one is, uh, it's a good movie. I, I really like The Wolverine. I don't think it's the best in the franchise as far as X-Men movies or Wolverine movies go, but it's still a pretty enjoyable movie and it looks great too. It has some amazing cinematography. The, the action scenes are pretty good for the most part, although there is some terrible CGI. Not, not near as bad as X-Men Origins Wolverine's terrible CGI, but it does have some bad CGI at times, uh, but for the most part, I think it's a good movie. It just has some pacing issues. That's really my main problem with this movie. So I'd say I'd give X, uh, or I almost said X Men Origins Wolverine. I keep wanting to call this movie everything but what it's actually called for some reason today. I'm sorry. Uh, the Wolverine, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's really enjoyable. And it's it's kind of underrated. Like like. Uh, everyone talks about how bad X Men Origins Wolverine is, and they everyone loves Logan, but nobody talks about this one. Like, like I don't know really why anybody thinks of this movie because it's just not talked about. It's kind of just been overlooked and everything, and that, that kind of sucks because this movie is pretty underrated. It took me a while to come around to it, but like I said, I like it a little more every time I watch it and everything. So, let me know in the comments what you think of Logan. And, I mean, see, I told you I can't say the right name today for some reason. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Wolverine. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.